Big houses give you options. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And today, I'm working with an investor named Nurse Remy out of California. Remy, how you doing, girl? Now, what you are interested in doing, you came to me with an interesting uh, business plan, right? You're interested in potentially doing group homes, right? Doing group homes in the Cleveland market. Now, Holton Wise, we're not involved in the group housing business, nor do we want to be, uh, but that doesn't mean I can't help you and give you some options, right? Because what you're looking for is some real estate that's got some options for you to potentially do that, right? So this particular home that I've targeted for you, this is something that I've looked at for another investor. And why I like this house, uh, for you specifically, he ended up not doing the deal. For you, it's good because it's a big old house. It's cheap. It's in the Cleveland market. It's in like a neighborhood that you were very interested in near the Metro Health area. And it's got four beds, two baths. What I like about that is you have a lot of options, right? You know, we get a lot of like two ones or three ones, like small little homes here in the Cleveland market. Now, what you can do with those is you could rent them to cash paying tenants or you could rent them to Section 8 tenants, right? It's, that's it. With the bigger homes... Still can rent them to cash paying tenants. You can rent them to Section 8 tenants, and it becomes so much more attractive and profitable because those big vouchers bring in big rents. Like this one could be renting for 1100 And then for you specifically, what you could do is you'll have something uh, in your portfolio that could potentially work as a nice group home down the road. Now, as far as actually getting that business off the ground, I will leave that to you. That's not something we'd be able to assist with. Uh, but given your profession as a nurse, what you're really doing is you're you're really combining housing provider with uh, some type of medical provider here. So you seem to be the right person for that job, and I am the right person to help you find uh, some real estate with potential. So I want you to take a look at my original financial analysis of this property and then let me know if it makes sense for you to put in an offer. 3007 Sackett, Cleveland, 44109. They just put it on the market three days ago at 59.9, and I think they're batshit crazy. Uh, if they're thinking they're going to get 59.9 for this thing, because it is all types of jacked up, brother. This thing is just beat to holy hell, dude. This is going to be uh, a pretty big rehab, okay? Everything needs to get touched uh, on this property. It's totally jacked. We got major water damage. Uh, mold issues, furnace taken apart, so probably going to need to replace that sucker. Electrical does seem to be upgraded, but pretty much everything on this thing is going to need to get uh, fixed up. Now, one thing to talk to you about, Jared. Last time we talked, bro, you said you had fifty grand in cash, okay, and you want to do some burr action, okay? This deal is, in my opinion, probably going to be the cheapest burr deal that we could put together for you right now. Uh, and it's going to require a total investment, in my opinion, of 70k cash. So you're going to have to to scrounge up the other 20k, bro. It's pretty tough to get a full bird done uh, without 65, 70, maybe even 80 thousand uh, dollars in the Cleveland market right now. With this one, what I want you to do is we got to lowball these guys, man. We got to lowball them at 30k. And it's cool if it might take you a little bit of time to save up that other 20k to do this deal. Because I think it's going to take some time to get these folks to come down to a reasonable price. Because they just put it on the market at 60K. But, dude, it's not going to sell for 60K. Nobody's buying this for 60K. And if there is some dumb son of a bitch out there who buys this for 60K, I can tell you his ass did not do the proper due diligence come here on my show. Because he is going to get his ass handed to him. He's going to lose so much money on that deal, dude. The most you could pay for this is 30 because that rehab, bro, it's going to cost 40 grand, okay? Now, normal rehab on a normal Cleveland house like this, bro, I need 20 grand to do the normal cosmetic stuff. 
That's going over, making sure the floors are like buffed hardwoods, dark stain. All the walls have no holes in them. They're painted one color. We got white trim. In the kitchen and the bath, the only two rooms of the home that are not going to have that hardwood floor, those are going to have matching vinyl allure flooring. You put in Home Depot Lowe's quality, uh, kitchen cabinets, countertops, new fixtures in the bath, one-piece uh, shower tub surround, right? I need about 20 k to get that, okay, to get that. In addition to that, I got another 20 k budget for some bigger ticket items because this house has some extreme problems, right? Uh, the roof, right? Probably six, seven grand on a roof. Seen a lot of water damage and, and all kinds of jacked up stuff. So I got some money penciled in for that. Uh, $3,000 for a new furnace because I assume we're going to need that. You're going to need some windows. So I threw a little extra, right? So uh, between just the furnace and the roof, that's 10 right there. That takes us up to 30. And then the other 10, I believe that will be spent fixing up the windows, the mold issues, and just anything and everything that the home inspectors are going to go through, right? Too much to uh, give you an exact pinpoint of like what it is now, but that house is just so jacked. We got to assume we got to spend 40, right? So that puts you all in at 70. Now, after that, what you'll get, Jared, you'll get in a Section 8 tenant in there at 11 hundo a month because it's a four bedroom house, right? That fourth bedroom, dude, we get those big old beautiful vouchers, man. I love those four bedroom vouchers, dude. Gets my fucking wheels grinding, brother. So. With that beautiful four-bedroom voucher, dude, 11 hundo comes in. I anticipate you spending a little bit shy of half of that, okay, every single month. So NOI, and this is annualized estimated performances. Jared, 596.63 or 83. I can't really tell what that says. That's an 8. That's an 8. 596.83 for the year, 7,162 on average, right? And you're actually probably going to be making a lot more than that up front, right? Because... As you see, I got the $660 budget for your capital expenditures. But here we're going to have new new stuff, right? That's like saving up for a new roof because the roof lasts 30 years. But we're going to slap a new roof on this. Hey, lenders. Are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> saving up for the three grand for a new furnace in 30 years. But we're going to have a new furnace. Things like that, right? So you're probably is actually going to kick off more money than what this chart is reflecting, right? So 7,162, though, uh, is what I'm thinking for the NOI. So you're all in at 70K. That makes it a 10.2 cap. But then, of course, the burr strategy, bro, that's where things get freaking juicy and good, right? With all that work we're doing, we're going to have a property, in my opinion, worth 80 grand. Bank appraises it for 80 grand. They'll give you back 60 of your original 70, meaning you only got to leave 10 into the deal, Jared. And that would pencil out to a 41.3% cash on cash return. Obviously, hell of a fucking deal, bro. But again, I think it's going to take some time to get the seller to come down to 30K. I don't think he's willing to take half when he just put it on the market three days from now. But if he leaves that price where it is 30 days from now, it's still going to be available. 60 days from now, probably still going to be available because ain't nobody paying 60K for this. So at that point, our low ball cash offer is going to start to look good to him. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.